Tennessee, a 14-point favorite on the road in Nashville against Vanderbilt. Now, a week ago, I would have said, man, I think Tennessee's probably going to fill up that stadium. And they still might, but what a gut punch that was to lose at South Carolina the way that they did and also lose Hendon Hooker for the year. I mean, that's a massive, massive blow. So, yeah, it's it's pretty rough, pretty rough. Um, Tennessee, a 14-point favorite. Total of 64 on that one. Latest numbers over at BetUS. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the SEC Network. Let's go on and pull it up. Let's take a look at what you are looking at. There's no way for me to pull Hendon Hooker out of my stats, right? So my numbers have Tennessee favored by 25. I don't know that you can look at any of the Tennessee offensive numbers, which are all great, and and read anything into them. Joe Milton is going to start for Tennessee. I don't know what that means. Like, it could be good, could be great, but I think, I think this is such a bad spot for, it's a bad spot for Tennessee. It just is. There's no other way to spin this. This Vanderbilt offense, I think, can keep up with them, especially with how bad Tennessee's passing defense has been. Uh, whether it's Mike Wright or A.J. Swan or whoever, uh, Vandy is number 27 in passing success rate over the past five weeks. They are number 17 in passing explosiveness, 22 in passing down PPA, they're number 43 in PPA per pass. PPA, by the way, is predicted points added. Uh, it's effectively an efficiency metric. Like, it, it gives you, like, a point total per play. It, Vandy's been really good with PPA per pass lately and their passing success rate, explosive, all, the, all that kind of... Tennessee is not good at defending the pass at all. I think Vandy can move the ball on them. As far as the running game is concerned, it, Tennessee's run defense is still pretty good. I'm just curious about who is actually going to play in this game. How many people are going to be fired up on that Tennessee team to actually go out and try and defend these guys? Vandy's been running the ball 57% of the time over the past five weeks. They're number 86 in rushing success Success rate number 72 in PPA per rush, but number 36 in rushing explosiveness. So they can they can find ways to maybe take advantage of Tennessee's defense here. Uh, when it comes to Vanderbilt's defense, like they're not great against the pass, but I, who knows what to read here? Uh, because is Joe Milton actually going to be able to hit these guys? Like he did some against Missouri late, but yeah, who knows? Who knows what to expect out of Tennessee's offense? Um, I mean, that was such a that was a hard hard loss that they took. So I, I would not be surprised if Vanderbilt won this game. I'm going to go ahead and take the doors plus 14 on this because I, I think they're going to stay in it. I don't think that the crowd is going to be as crazy in favor of Tennessee here. Yeah, give me give me the doors. Give me the doors plus the 14 on this one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.